once you've finished an eye splice in double braid rope, you need to, to lock stitch the splice so that it can't work loose. Uh, there are a variety of ways to do that. My favorite is what's called a Yale whip lock. Uh, to do that, you need about 40 inches of whipping twine like this or something comparable. Um, you need a pair of ice grips and you need a needle with a big eye like that, okay? All right, so to start the, the Yale uh, whip lock, you just do a bite in the end of the cord like that right there. You lay it on the rope about a short fid back from the end of the rope, okay? And then you just start wrapping. You take one wrap around and then you wrap back over that wrap like that to lock it, okay? And you just keep wrapping. And you want the number of wraps or the width of the wrap of the whipping here to be roughly equal to the diameter of the rope. You want to wrap these so that they lay nice and neat against each other, don't overlap each other, all right? Okay, that's probably good enough for right there, all right? So once you've got your wraps, then you just take the end of the whipping twine and run it back through that loop right there, all right? And then lock that with your thumb so you can hold it, and then pull on this side over here to pull that little eye down tight. And then pull it underneath the wraps and pull it about halfway across. Don't pull it all the way across, just so that it's underneath there. And then pull on both sides to get that good and tight. And go back over here and dress up all your wraps. Make sure that they're nice and tight against each other. Okay, so there's the whipping part of the Yale Whip Lock. Now we need to use this to lock stitch it. Okay, and to do that we first thread the whipping twine through the needle and pull that so that it's about halfway down what's left of your whipping twine. Okay, then you're going to take the needle and stick, stick it right through the middle of the rope right there and you're going to go right through and you want to come out right up against those wraps there, okay? Okay, see that right there? Okay, so just push that on through, reach over here with your vice grips, grab a hold and pull it through, okay? And then just pull that on down like that until it pulls inside the rope, okay? Then we need to pull the rest of this through, so find out which end you want to pull on there. Pull it down until about an inch or so is left sticking out, like that, and then lock that. Then come back over here and move your needle along so that it's in the middle of the threads. Okay, so like that, all right? So you got a doubled up thread like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a series of, of lock stitches that lay over the top of the whipping, okay? And you're gonna, and we're gonna do a diagonal pattern. So we're gonna come around the rope from that first point where the, the twine comes out over here, go 90 degrees around the rope, and push it again right through the middle and you want to come out right on the edge of the whipping like that okay grab hold of that pull it through okay and then start pulling it through and this is when you want to use what I call the finger trick you go back over here and you put your two fingers through like that your thumb and your index finger and that just keeps those strands from getting wrapped around each other and getting all tangled up until you got it right down to the bottom end and then you just pull the last little bit okay so there's our first diagonal all right go back over here and do another diagonal okay Again, we're going to go around the rope about 90 degrees, right through the middle, okay? And this time, we want to come out right beside that whipping, or that uh, lock stitch right there, okay? So kind of get an aim to where it's going to come out where you want it. This is kind of takes a little practice, but just shove it through, and see, I missed it a little bit, so we'll come back out, and we'll re-aim, okay? See how that's right beside that? That's what you want, okay? Okay, then... Just pull that on through, do the finger trick again, go back over here, separate those loops with your fingers and keep them, keep them separate as you pull until 
goes nice and tight. Okay, so there's our second diagonal. Okay, now I'll go back over here and we're going to go back over to there. All right, so go through right there. And this time we want to come out right over there next to that diagonal. So just get it aimed so that it's going to come out about right. And we'll see how we do here. Nope, see it's way over here. It's not quite right. Still not quite right. Closer. Still not perfect. Okay, so coming out right there. I'll take that. Pull that on through. Go back over here and do the finger trick. Okay, so there's our third diagonal. And now for the fourth diagonal, we're just going to go back over there. But this time now we're going to go on up the rope so that the, the uh, toying comes out upstream from the whip lock. So just to go in right there, aim it upstream, okay, like that. Grab that with your pliers, pull it out, go back over here, get everything organized, do your finger trick, get your finger in there to keep those loops separate, okay, and then pull them tight. Okay, so there's our last diagonal. Now we just, just to lock it off, we go over here and we pull that this way and push the needle in right there, again, aiming up the rope like that. Pull that on through and you'll see that'll just bury and hide in there, okay? Do that once more at least. Just shove it in right there where it comes out of the rope. Aiming up the rope. Pull it tight and you'll see it just disappears, okay? All that's left now to finish this is to cut that off. Just take your knife, cut that off there. Cut these two strands off here, being careful not to nick your whip locking. Okay, so there is the completed Yale whip lock. All right, keeps the the uh, splice inside from ever working loose and coming apart. So that's a Yale whip lock.